10 years later and coming back to making videos on YouTube is um, exciting and scary because it's a very different arena than what it was um, when I was making hair videos years ago. But I think there are more sort of sub -com like communities within YouTube. Um, and I think a lot of people just being a bit more open to just sharing themselves or learning from each other. So that's what I'm really excited about for coming with coming back to YouTube. On the other hand, I think it's also been a little bit, of, I've been missing it. Um, I think I've been looking for some sort of creative outlet for a while now and I just really couldn't figure out what that was or what I wanted to share. But I think um, I'm at a, at a place now to where it is what it is and if you're either going to like it or maybe un understand it, gain a different perspective or it's not going to be for you and that's okay too. Um, I think as I'm, I, as I'm thinking about what are some of the things that I would like to really be able to deliver on this channel is just all sides of myself, right? So, if, you know, I love um, taking care of my home. I love cooking and all, the, all those things. Um, but I also love like, you know, to do unboxings. I have some things here that I recently bought and um, one of them I'm really excited about because it's another creator that I've been following for a very long time and they have recently come out with their own product line and I was really excited to support um, and purchase an item. So there'll be some of that. Um, I think there will also just be, you know, honest talks about how I'm feeling, like what does my mental health feel like? What does my physical health feel like? What are some goals that I'm focused on? Um, and then, you know, really what what are different things that I'm finding interesting as I'm also making a industry transition in regards to my career. So I think I just have a lot of different things going on and then it's a really good opportunity to be able to capture all that information like in this very visual way. So I've noticed that there's something going on with my necklace, but that's okay. Um, so with that, I guess I'll get started. So kind of the basics of who I am and, and why I'm here. Well, that's kind of the why I'm here, but um, I live in Arizona. It's, it's getting ready to be summer. It's about to get hot. Um, so I was already sort of going out in the morning and having a skim the pool and you know do all that type of stuff but I'm um, I think realistically I am a person who is really just trying to expand um, and grow and elevate and be around like-minded people but also people who are different enough to where I, I can also stay in a learning mode around them too so that's some of like what will be to come as I figure out you know, what a, like a filming schedule feels like, like how frequently do I want to upload um, videos if they're, maybe I might wanna share some of the career transition stuff that I'm going through and moving into more of an entrepreneurial space um, and really trying to grow community around people like that as well, who, you know, you've done a corporate thing for a while and it, you know, might've been great experience, maybe not. Um, but you know, you're also willing to take a little bit of a, a bet and a risk on yourself. And I think I'm just feeling empowered to do that and, and being okay, like saying that boldly. Um, so that's that. So, uh, for the real reason why I wanted to get on the camera and, um, come and share is just because I got two packages. So I got a package from Park Avenue, who is a creator here on YouTube and then a package from Parkwood. And if you know who sends out stuff from Parkwood, then you might be able to guess already what I got. So, quick little unboxing. So, Beyonce merch. Um, I usually try to make it a habit of going to the concerts. I did not go to Renaissance, and I don't know just yet if that's something I regret or I'm okay because we were busy doing other things, so I don't feel as though I missed out. Still able to get some merch to sort of add to my concert t-shirt collection, I guess you could call it. Um, so I'm happy to have what I was able to receive, but um, 
I think I will make sure that the next concert we are around for. So I got um, three shirts from Cal called Cowboy Carter. Jeez. So I got this little one here. It's cute. I haven't opened them and I'm not going to take them out the package just yet because the closet needs to be reorganized. So it's actually easier for me to store them and like exactly know what they are if I just keep them in the package. So I got this one, right? So I thought that one was really cute. Um, and then just the plain white tee. I got two of them. So I think these are gonna be really cute. As a general rule, like I, I kind of wear a lot of black and white anyway. So that just felt like an easy thing to add to my closet. Um, so I was excited for that. Also got, what is this? The box and um, I think this comes with like the it's a red one. And what else did we get? CD. Oh yeah, okay. And a record. So I'm excited, I'm thankful to be able to have these pieces of merchandise. Um, we actually do listen to records in our house, so it's something that we'll probably like really play and like listen to it in a vinyl way to see how that may compare, how that may differ in terms of sound um, from like the the digital or the CD version. I probably won't open this because does the car have a CD? I think it's still like I think it has a CD player slot. I mean, we just don't use it, so. That'll be something I'll just add to our old CD collection, and that's it. So, all of that aside, love Beyonce, and I'm so happy and I'm thankful, but I'm really excited about Park Avenue because I think she's such a excellent inspiration. She has um, helped me open my fashion horizon to things that I may not have tried or maybe different brands um, that I was just unfamiliar with. So for that, when she had been talking about, you know, wanting to create her own um, road line, I was just like, okay, when she does it, I'm buying it. Like it wasn't even a thought, like it was an immediate thing of, I wanna support her. Uh, so I got it, right, it came. I have not opened it. It's been sitting probably for a week because I wanted to really be able just to kind of do this unboxing, but also like, you know, pay a little bit of respect to her. So I only, um, cut the tape and so now we're gonna get to open it together so oh it's so cute okay so I love the box the inside is really really pretty it has a, um, a nice little message and it says to tag the park avenue dot co uh, to be so you can uh, be featured on the socials so I'm really excited about that so let's take this out So it is the Hues of Harmony Kimono Row, um, and I got it in a size large. So let's just take a look and see. Okay. Oh, this feels really nice. Yeah, this is really, really nice. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so, like, this is going to be so cute. Like, it almost feels wasteful like to keep it as a like a dressing gown or a robe for in the house like this would be super cute as like just a a jacket or um even a, like I could see it as a beach cover-up depending on where you may be um and what other colors you may have on I think if you had on something like like just solid any of these colors and just threw this on on top that would be great oh, let's see. Oh yeah, this is really, really cute and comfy. Um, I'll see if maybe I can take a picture and get a full screen later, but I'm excited for this and I'm, I'm excited for Park Avenue. I'm excited to have been in position to um, purchase one of the robes and um, that's something I'm gonna keep and remember for a very long time. So that's all I have right now. I think, you know, ideally, Getting back into this routine is feeling good. Um, finding my audience and then also very much 
very many thank yous to the people who watched my first like I'm, I'm back video kind of I just threw out there just to see if I even had the courage to put it out there um the people I have I had a few questions in there and you guys did help me in regards to like my flaxseed and if I should be keeping it in the refrigerator or airtight what I did come to learn is I should be probably consuming way more than I am because I should be using it up pretty frequently so we'll continue to figure that out I'm still reading the book um how to get paid for what you know and this is a part of that and um, I think I'll, you know, I'll bring some more content in regards to the career transition and, and just sort of what I'm going through because it's completely different from anything that I've um, really dabbled in before. I'm excited for it, but it's just different. So it's really just about pacing and um, I think really being up in the part of enjoying the process and the journey and not trying to you know, rush to completion um, so quickly. So that's all I have right now. I thank you all for sticking with me with the, um, probably it's probably made me feel like a little bit of word salad. Um, and as I continue to get better, I'll be able to sort of refine myself, but thank you to the power of editing, um, editing, excuse me, and just kind of sharing. So thank you so much. I appreciate all the engagement. I'm really, really excited to be able to chat and uh, meet new people. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Bye. Hi friends. So I'm really excited because I'm about to uh, get ready for a intake call with a potential new client um, just to see if what they're looking to seeing if some of the areas in which they are wanting to focus on and really see some transformation uh, within their life, if, that, if it's a right fit for the both of us in terms of my skill set um, and what they're wanting to, to try to transform. And so I'm really excited for that. Usually just before I have a new client call, I really like to like get myself in a very positive headspace. Um, I try to keep like a soft outline so that way we can just make sure that we stay on course with what I really want to be able to discover in the conversation. Um, so I'm excited. She is a referral, um, which is great. And um, this will be our first conversation. So in regards to confidentiality, of course, I won't be recording that part, but I did want to come in and just kind of give you guys sort of this side of it. So for me, it's really about trying to um, understand, you know, what is the person's background? Um, what is the, the concern that they may have and what can I do to assist with that and really what's really motivating that change and what we're what they're wanting to um, have a behavior change in so I'm really excited client seems really really motivated which is always great love a high level of enthusiasm so I'll come back um, I actually have two calls so that's really great it's really exciting um, like I told you guys, we're moving into a different space in regards to industry and really moving into entrepreneurial mindset. Um, so really being able to go out here and cultivate the type of lifestyle um, and the type of work-life balance that I want has been very fulfilling and exciting. So I say all that to say, coming in to give you guys a little bit more insight of sort of what I, what I have going on. I'm happy to um, answer any questions separately on the side. But that's all that I have right now. So I'll pop back um, in a little bit here and come back with some more thoughts. All right, talk to you soon. Hi friends. So I wanted to come back and just give a <clears throat> quick update, more like just kind of closing this um, video out. But my two calls that I had, it's the next day. The two calls I had yesterday went really well. Um, so I'm excited about potential opportunities <clears throat> with just kind of growing the business and um, seeing where I can be of value to other people. But it's been a great week. Um, giving it a head into the weekend. Not too much planned, but um, I'll come back probably in a few days or so and see either what we're prepping for our next Rachel Alma meal. I think we did have something this week. It was, um, it's almost kind of like a Brazilian dish and it had lima beans and uh, 
I can't even remember. I'll insert a picture um, of the dish that we had because it was really good. I also, you know, today years old learned that lima beans and butter beans are the same bean. I did not know that, but you know, you learn something new every day if you let yourself. So hope you all have a great weekend. I will see you all in the next one and um, be good.